was a pot of educational gold at the end of a rainbow. It might be here at Medina St. Thomas School where the three R's have gone high tech. One person per roller coaster. We look at the, the technology as a way for students to create. Technology is not at the heart of the lessons here, it's how they get to the point. Every student in our school from kindergarten through eighth grade has a dedicated device, a tablet device, and they're used in all different kinds of ways. We really need a mayor. Things like using Minecraft to teach the Russian Revolution. They took on characters and uh, the teacher said, okay, you have to act like that persona in Minecraft. And when they were done, they were, you know, Zara Nicholas and Karl Marx. It's something they start using before they can even read. We'll go down to kindergarten. Thingy. Kindergarten teacher Jane Fellows admits initially she wasn't sure about it. I was always anti computers and things like, oh, it's all about social emotional development and all of that. But I had to get with the times and I'm finding with them there's a lot of collaboration and, and a lot of things that you can enhance and support the learning um, that makes it even better. <laughs> The school has captured international attention. Delegates from Japan toured in the morning. Representatives from the German consulate came by in the afternoon. If you had uh, 11 million students and 5 billion to spend on them, what would you definitely not do with the money? School leaders say it's not just one thing. It involves a blend of hardware, unique programs, and training for teachers. Research shows that when teachers are feeling empowered and successful, and um, have the knowledge that they need to do to do their jobs, then your students are doing better. There's no test scores that show how well it works. Instead, they gauge that by looking at the students. You can see it in their work and that the quality of work, the in-depth knowledge that they have on subjects, the investment that they feel in their work has really changed. But they're also quick to say it's all about balance. You'll still see someone with their nose in a book, and there's still time for the arts. They're happy to share what they've learned, saying the magic of this rainbow could help students around the world. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Since 2012, the school has had delegates from more than 20 countries come and visit the campus.